Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of the Utobiverse. Um, this is my video on my opinions. This is my video. This is a video on my opinions of Call of Duty Ghosts, the multiplayer preview which they showed. Just to clarify, if you've seen any of my other videos, including another one to do with Battlefield 3, I don't hate Call of Duty, I hate Modern Warfare 3. I don't think it deserved my money, or really anyone else's money. And I've owned every single Call of Duty except from that one game. Well, except from like Call of Duty 1 and 2 on a PC. Well, I've played the second one years ago. Years ago, though. And that's when I didn't realise PCs could play games other than games like My Minesweeper and stuff like that. I nearly said Minecraft, but you know. Anyway, <clears throat> so one thing I saw was the graphics. The graphics have definitely been improved. They've definitely made it more clearer. They've it's more grittier, but it's more clearer. It looks more detailed. The trees look better, the guns look better, the gun gun effects look better, and overall I think the upgrade on the engine is definitely definitely worth it. Um, so things I saw, the marksman rifle, which is a cross between a sniper and assault rifle. It's normally semi-auto, I think it's always going to be semi-auto, and it's kind of like the M1A one from World of War and all the other CODs in World War 2. So you can stick a scope on it or you can have iron sights and it's semi-auto, it's got good range, it's got good damage. Another thing to do with graphics was the dual render scope where it looks like two images, one laid across the other one. So one which is zoomed in and it's clear and another one which is blurry and hasn't zoomed in because you're, you know, you're looking down the scope. But of course when it's like an ACOG or just a normal little... Um, red dot sight you're not going to have your eye right at the scope so there will be that surrounding vision that you can see but you won't be focusing on the next thing is they've kept the black ops 2 weapon class with the budgets i saw 50 in a corner i don't know if that's how much you've got like 50 points and they say you've always got eight points to spend on perks so i'm guessing you've got 42 to you know do for guns and if you don't spend 42 then i'm guessing you know you can use it you remaining on perks and they say if you have no secondary or equipment you can have 11 perks which is quite a lot I didn't realize there was 11 perks but you know I'm guessing there is there's 20 new kill streaks including Juggern juggernaut maniac which is it looks like you got lots of health you're probably slower and you you're wielding a minigun which actually actually looks good the minigun I mean and the perk of course Helo Scout which I'm not sure about he kinda looked like he was in the air the footage they showed but he might have been on a ledge I've got to take a second look but I don't know if you can jump really high as like low gravity I don't know Vulture which I'm guessing is kind of ammo just lots of ammo in one go and Odin Strike which they said about being pretty powerful they said um I don't know if it's like a Moab or something like that, but you know. And they say there's a cut down on airstrikes. Like um, the UAV is actually on ground now, rather than a drone in the air. Which is a bit weird. <clears throat> but yeah. There's also Viley, which is actually a killstreak, which is just one dog. And it also acts as a UAV as well, from barking at enemies and stuff like that. And you also... It's not... They say killstreaks, but I think you earn it by points so if you do it on an objective you'll get lots of points like I don't know blowing up a bomb site will get you 150 or 500 as it normally is and that'll go towards your kill streak slash point streak and they said there's no death streaks which was applauded by so yeah 20,000 plus customization looks for your soldiers that's a lot although when you kind of add it all up it's you know, you can have like one kind of look, but you change a hat for each one. You know, you change a helmet and you got like 50 different hats or helmets. That's 50 different looks just there, just by changing one thing. So I don't know how much there is, but they did show quite a lot. They were scrolling down and there was quite a lot of suits. But I don't think it's like top and trousers. I think it's just overalls, kind of like the overall look. But I might be wrong. 
and uh, you can get up to 10 classes slash soldiers and each soldier has a separate prestige so you don't have overall prestige you might do but each soldier has one prestige so that's 10 prestiges in total and these soldiers act also act as AI in certain game modes which is pretty cool and they take on the role of what you've kind of given them and talking about AI apparently AI is way more smart than they act like players including drop shopping drop shopping yeah drop shotting and jump shotting <clears throat> they showed dynamic maps they showed they showed um, blown up a gas station or collapsing the roof of it of where the pumps are um, and walls being blown up but I did see ec like red crosses on it like an X so I don't know if you can only blow up certain walls which would be a little bit of a letdown but oh well it's a step forward nevertheless and apparently on certain maps there's going to be a hidden care package um, yeah the actual gameplay looked a lot like Call of Duty 4 I've got to say kind of mixed with Killzone because it's a lot more clunkier and there's, but there's not much recoil so it's fast pace the running's fast it's, um, it looks quite responsive it looks like Call of Duty 4 just more clunkier really which I don't mind I don't mind if they've kept the fast pace and that's Call of Duty ain't it <clears throat> yeah another thing is they've changed the audio or they've updated it shall I say so it's audio reverb so like a metallic space when you shoot a gun it'll sound echoey it'll sound like you can hear like a coin dropping on aluminium to a carpet room which is going to be muted a sniper will not be as loud and yeah it'll be you can tell and they showed a bit where he walks into that container keeps shooting and it sounded different it sounded more echoey so you know that's that's good I've got to say so you'll be able to hear enemies which goes on the next thing like spotting you can spot enemies and I think this is automatic but like if you spot an enemy your guy will say enemy in restaurant and everyone else nearby will know or maybe it's like on a radio everyone will know there's an enemy in a big landmark a restaurant so that's gonna help with like audio as well so you can hear where they're shooting you know if you know the map you can know where they're gonna be you know if it's quite muted you know they're probably inside that apartment block with the beds and the carpeted floor I don't know if that's how it works but another thing is a new knife in it looks more like battlefield um, and there's actually a timer on it like how when you plant bombs you got that like a little bar with knife and you got that same bar but it fills up like instantly I don't know if there's a perk which makes it faster because normally it's quite quick which I'll get on to later okay talking about game modes now one called cranked which looks quite good um, you gain kills and each kill you get you move faster you reload faster and you aim down sights faster but if you don't kill for 30 seconds you simply explode you don't die you blow up there's search, <laughs> there's search and rescue which is quite casual you explode you know <clears throat> a little bit of speed it's kind of like speed ain't it not the drug the film <laughs> search and rescue which is like search and destroy I believe there's bomb sites to blow up but if you die there's a dog tag and if your ally collects your dog tag dog dog tag I need to call it a dog tag dog tag you respawn and if the enemy takes it you're out for that round so it's like normal search and destroy search and destroy god I'm really ill I can't pronounce anything um, but yeah then there's squads which your um, classes work as AI in that so you decide you know you you choose the loadouts which will affect your AI if you give them a sniper they'll stay a sniper they won't be running forwards and um, so you can get up to nine AI helping you of course and there's different game modes like squad versus squad which is you versus another player and it's um, it's basically a 1v1 but you can have up to either four or nine I believe it is or five or nine so it's like a 6v6 or a 10v10 battle with all AI and just two normal players. There's War Game, Safeguard and 4 player co-op which is apparently like survival on Modern Warfare 3. And there's of course the smarter movement of lean in, slide and vaulting which all flows quite well with the even with the clunkier guns so it kind of looks like Vink but I'm still keeping with the um, kill zone. It does remind me a lot of kill zone. I don't know why. Everyone's probably going to disagree but 
Especially Killzone 3. I don't know. Killzone 3 had a different feel. It felt more fast paced. Was it Killzone 2? I think it was Killzone 2 actually, which felt more fast paced. I've never played the first one. I wanted to get it at the time, but you know. The perks, which I'm on now, I saw some perks which some I know, some I don't know. Agility, I don't know what that is. Tact resist, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's to do with tactical insertion, but ping. Guessing, I don't know what that is. It sounds electronical, so UAV is being more effective, I don't know. Like constant UAV, I don't know. Slide of hand, which we know, faster reloading, on the go. Which I'm guessing is like faster vaulting, faster climbing up ladders. Your vault, you slide faster maybe. <clears throat> that's not a vault, that's a slide. Or knee slide, I think they called it. Off the grid, which I'm guessing enemy UAVs can't find you. And their countered UAVs have no effect on you. Scavenger, which we know. Blast shield, which I'm guessing is less explosive damage. Strong arm, which sounds dodgy. But I think it's to do with throwing grenades faster and farther. Farther? Further. <laughs> I can't. I was just going to say far. When I realised it was wrong kind of, you know, tense. And takedown. Which I'm guessing is to do with faster knifing. I'm not sure. And like commando as well. But yeah, then there's clans. Which is to do with clan tags. And um, yeah, basically you can make a clan. You can fight for certain places on this massive kind of map and other people can take it I don't know if they can take it only if you're online because that's going to be annoying if you just get an email from Call of Duty saying hey your I don't know industrial plant which you've taken yesterday has been attacked and there's no one to defend it so screw you I don't know <laughs> I don't know if your AI you know your custom classes will stay there and they will defend it I don't know that could be smart I'm guessing that's how it's going to work yeah thanks for watching and if you happen to stay till the end I want you to kind of write on, in the comments please um, overall not on just Call of Duty itself not exclude ghosts from this so all the Call of Duty you've played and seen which is out now out of 10 how much do you like it how much do you like Call of Duty 1 being it's an abomination and 10 being it's your favourite game you love it you know you want it to be your life well maybe not that far but <laughs> And then the second thing is, are you going to get Call of Duty Ghosts? Has your previous, like, you might only be a 2 out of 10, but you're going to get it because this game looks good. Or you might be 10 out of 10, and you're not going to get it because it's not Call of Duty in your mind. You know, they've made it more tactical, they've made it, uh, they've upgraded it too much in one go. Or is it like, you think that's a good thing? Personally, I think I'm about a 7. A low 7 versus 7. And I'm gonna get this game. It looks good. They've improved it. I thought Black Ops 2 was quite good. And this kind of reminds me of it a bit. Along with COD 4 and Killzone. That's kind of the games it reminds me of. But yeah. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you around next time. <laughs>